Hello Capricorn, welcome to another love reading. This one will be regarding the person you're thinking about or connecting with at this time. How are they viewing you or this connection? What are their feelings towards you? Um, what are their intentions towards you? And what do they wish they could tell you? And we're just going to get right into this for Capricorn Spirit in love. Capricorn need to know regarding love. It's Capricorn need to know regarding love. Huge thank you to everyone who has commented, liked, subscribed. Your subscribes and your and your likes really help the uh, channel. So thank you for that. Let's bear for Capricorn. What do we need to know for Capricorn in regards to love? Okay, wedding situation involves marriage what else healing family issues what else for Capricorn? pay attention to the red flags the signs are cautioning you. Interesting. So there's something going on here in a family unit, possibly a marriage. It could be that a marriage is causing issues here. Oops. What's this? Unrequited love. Not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going and finances and career. Financial factors. Interesting. So it could be that um, from what I'm seeing here, there there's obviously issues. Um, but I think it, it, it's deeper than that. I think this, the, for the Capricorns that I'm reading for, uh, there is someone that is married in this connection. Um, there is some sort of family drama going on. Uh, there's red flags left and right, a situation that's not right. With unrequited love, um, this for me is also, it makes me think of the Six of Pentacles, which is um, maybe someone here is putting more effort than the other person. Maybe someone has stronger feelings than the other person. Um, but in the midst of all this, there's also financial factors that are influencing this connection possibly in a negative way because it's right in the middle of this mess. <laughs> so let's get into this with the tarot. Let's see what's going on here for Capricorn, please. Spirit. Messages for Capricorn in love. Using uh, Tarot of the Golden Wheel today. All of the decks that I'm using are linked in the description box if you're interested. For Capricorn, Spirit. I'm going to be doing a past, present, future spread for these monthlies. So in the recent past, what do we have? The chariot, cancer energy, movement, moving forward, progression here, success. The lovers, okay. Gemini energy there with the lovers, a partnership of some sort, a decision made with the, between the head and the heart, you know, again, with the path being, it's like a path was chosen here the world wow major arcana all in your past here so some big energy shifts for you capricorn a new cycle the ending of a cycle to begin something new it's in the present nine of cups reverse so there was something here that didn't pan out for you a wish wasn't granted or you got your wish and it wasn't what you thought it was going to be so there's no satisfaction star reverse Aquarius energy there, losing hope, losing faith in a connection, or just feeling like a situation is hopeless here. Yeah, the sun reversed. Leo energy there. We have a lot of major arcana, Capricorn. It is insane. Only one card is in a major arcana here. So, you know, you're feeling a little deflated. Um, so what's coming in the near future? Jesus. Nine of Swords. 
stress, anxiety, fears, picturing the worst, king of cups reverse, cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy, being uh, emotionally off balance, um, dealing with emotional manipulation, um, unable to make good decisions here. Your emotions are all over the place. And then the two of wands. So a choice needs to be made here. A path needs to be chosen. What's at the bottom of the deck? Wow. Five of swords. Some serious issues going on here, Capricorn. This is deception, fights, conflict. This is not playing fair, playing dirty, um, taking advantage of others. Um, this could be you or someone that you're dealing with. Um, this is a loose, loose situation. This is defeat with the Five of Swords. You can even see that. Okay. So let's break this down then. Let's get into this because there's a lot. There's a lot going on here for Capricorn. Please help me clarify these messages, please. Here. Okay, so tell me about the lovers, because Chariot, I mean, this is just movement forward, success, um, literally making a move or trying to move forward here. So something here happened that caused you to move forward, but I'm more curious about the lovers. What's this lovers doing here? What's the lovers about for Capricorn? King of Pentacles reverse. Tell me more about the lovers. Someone was greedy when they made a choice and they trapped themselves. Eight of swords. They weren't thinking. It's almost like they let their emotions and their thoughts get in the way of making a wise decision. This probably had to do with um, something to do with home, family, marriage. Someone is now unsure of the decision they made or feeling stuck because of the decision they made. Tell me more about the lovers. Somebody could be feeling stuck in a commitment as well. Ten of Cups reverse. There's that family issues right there. Definitely some 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 serious uh, problems going on in a in a family unit. Um, there is disappointment, and this has to do with a partnership. So for the Capricorns that I'm reading for here, you are having issues with your person. Either this, you know, this is the recent past. So this probably already happened. There might have been a divorce, a separation. Um, there might have there might be children involved, and there's now family issues that you're dealing with. Um, someone did not make a wise decision. You could be dealing with someone greedy or selfish or someone that um, is unable to give. Maybe they don't have financial resources here with the finance and career card. Maybe you're dealing with the aftermath of a decision that's causing financial problems. Tell me about the world. Spirit, tell me about the world. The world here. Yeah, there's this, there's an uh, end of a cycle happening. Ten of Swords. A cycle is ending so that you can have a new beginning, a new start here. A painful ending for some of you here. There might have been betrayal or just feeling like you got stabbed in the back. This Five of Swords would do that. Yeah, uh, um, I feel like whatever ending is happening, this Queen of Cups reverse, this could be you. Remember this... This is a past, present, future spread. So this spread could be all about you, Capricorn. It could be about your person or both of you are in here. This Queen of Cups reverse is someone who is emotionally dependent or attached to this, this Ten of Swords. Uh, whatever ending this was, they're not coping well. They're not dealing well with it. And I have it here with the Nine of Swords as well and the Nine of Cups reverse. Whatever ending this was, it was very difficult for you. And I don't think... This Queen of Cups is not over it. 
you know and it's time for a new cycle so let's see um if the this two of wands down here will lead you to something new a new path has to be chosen eight of wands reverse so i feel like there's um with eight of wands reverse this eight of wands is about movement uh communication but it's also about movement things moving quickly so when it's reversed, things have slowed down. So there's delays, intercept, in, um, blockages. There's some intercepted messages possibly that is keeping someone from having a new a new beginning here. Tell me about the Nine of Cups reverse. What's the Nine of Cups reverse? Four of Swords reverse. Where's the Nine of Cups reverse? Seven of Pentacles. So someone here is thinking about time, effort that they put in, the investment they put in. Um, they've probably been doing a lot of thinking about, you know, what didn't work out here. And now they want to take action. But for some reason, the situation is like they're trying not to give up, trying not to lose hope. Trying uh, not to, not to despair. I just heard that. Whoa. Okay. Wanted me to take two. Page of Wands, Eight of Pentacles, reversed. Yeah, it's like something's not working, and so someone's thinking about a new idea, a new beginning, a new start for them. Um. It's like they put in all this work, all this effort, and it, it just didn't work. And now someone's like left with, you know, the, the, the consequences of that. I'm sorry about my dog. Leon, that's enough. Tell me about this star reverse. Tell me about this star reverse, please. Why the star reverse? Knight of Swords. Messages. Um, these, these two cards, Page of Wands, Knight of Swords. Messages, action. Yeah, Empress. There's a turning point here for you if you, if you take it. It's like things were stopped for a while and now it's like things are starting to move again, grow. There's a potential for expansion, for manifesting with the Empress here. So don't give up hope. This is not a hopeless situation. You still have, yeah, you just have to let go of what's weighing you down. You have to just overcome this conflict um, find a compromise, repair a connection, or just forget about all of this drama and let it go. Why is the sun reverse here? The tower. Yeah, there was, there's a, a tower moment um, has pretty much just kept you, yeah, it's it's been exhausting, tiring for you. Um, it's been difficult. And I feel like you're still carrying this, like, you know, emotionally. I have the Nine of Swords here. This is worry, stress, anxiety, guilt, remorse. Why is the Nine of Swords here? Why is the Nine of Swords here? Three of Swords reverse. Could be a third party energy here. That's some sort of interference in this connection. Tell me about the three, the Nine of Swords, sorry. The Nine of Swords reversed. No, it's not reversed. What am I saying? I'll focus on this Three of Swords reversed. The Nine of Swords, please. <laughs> What's this Nine of Swords about? What's this Nine of Swords about? Hangman, Seven of Swords reversed. Someone got caught and now they're stuck. Or they're just seeing this for what it truly is. Seeing things from a new perspective. Um, this could be you, Capricorn. Um, you probably caught someone doing something they weren't supposed to be doing. Uh, 
I feel like, again, Six of Cups reversed at the bottom, stuck in the past. Unable to let this go. Whatever happened in the past, you are unable to let it go. Perhaps you're trying to heal this connection when maybe it's time to let it go. I feel like, you know, if you left this person in the past, I'm just picturing someone who uh, physically left someone in the past, but keeps checking up on them and wondering what they're doing and keeps being angry or hurt about what happened. And it's like this, this is just unable to let it go. You're just carrying this with you. And again, this could be you Capricorn or the person you're dealing with. Tell me about this King of Cups reverse. Reverse. Four of Wands, Stability, Harmony, Peace, Home. Tell me more about the King of Cups Reverse. Queen of Pentacles. Interesting. So I have here a King of Pentacles and a Queen of Pentacles. The King of Pentacles is reversed, the Queen is upright. Then I have the Queen of Cups reversed and the King of Cups reversed. In any case, if this is two sets of people or if this is one partnership, they're not seeing eye to eye or they're completely off balance. Again, I feel like this King of Cups reverse here is like someone that is just emotionally messed up regarding a commitment here or marriage tell me more about the king of cups reverse there's the king of cups knight of wands aries leo sagittarius energy taurus virgo capricorn energy with the queen of pentacles but the energy is not you know the signs are not important Really, this is someone who wants something, who is, and, and again, I have the Six of Cups reverse at the bottom. It's like they want something that has to do with the past here. They possibly want commitment, marriage. Um, they want it all here, but with the King of Cups reverse, this is somebody that's just, you can't trust them. They don't have the best intentions. Their emotions are all over the place. They don't make wise decisions. They manipulate people. So, you know, it's like they, they might, this person, this King of Cups might be wanting something, but I don't trust their intentions here. And it has something to do with the past. You know, if it's not someone with bad intentions, it's someone that cannot see clearly. They're emotionally blocked, you know, from, from having clarity, from listening to their intuition, from seeing things for what they are. So tell me what this Two of Wands is about. What's this Two of Wands about? What's this Two of Wands about? And notice that I don't really have any cards here about love. Page of Swords, reversed. The Lovers is about a choice. And it's, you know, it's clarified by a Ten of Cups reversed. It's this complete heartbreak. And a eight of swords, feeling stuck, fearful. We have a, a four of wands here, but it's clarifying a king of cups reverse. And now with this page of swords reverse, this is all about someone not telling you the whole story. It could be self-deception. It could be just full-on deception. The two of wands is somebody that's always kind of looking at what's next. What else is there? Where can I go? Uh, which path should I choose that has the most potential? Tell me more about the Two of Wands, please. Tell me more about the Two of Wands, please. Six of Cups Reverse. Yep. Okay. Another card, please, for the Six of Wands Reverse. Not the Six of Wands Reverse. <laughs> I swear, I don't know what is happening. <laughs> two of Wands, please. <laughs> what's the Two of Wands here for doing? What's what's the Two of Wands about for Capricorn? My mind is like all over the place. 
I feel like that's the energy here, though. It's like someone's really like, 